Hello again, everyone! Welcome to a new Let's Play of the very first icon-based adventure game that Sierra produced. Uh, this was uh, one of the uh, Sierra games that I got uh, um, shortly after it came out. I think uh, King's Quest 4, 5, and 6 I all got roughly around the time that they came out. You know, probably uh, possible it was uh, you know a few months after, because at the time these games weren't cheap. King's Quest V. Absence makes the heart go King's yonder. Quest 5? Have I previously played King's Quest V? Yes, I have, but we are going to say no. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. All right, these are about the only uh, um, subtitled uh, speech bits that you're, we're going to get. Um... So, fair warning, I will be talking over some of the comment, some of the uh, uh, dialogue. Uh, deal with it. Also, cartoon? Castle Daventry. It, they apparently put a second level on it and two towers. Hey! Hey, who are you? What's up? Um, wh why are you casting chain lightning on my castle? What are you doing? You stop that right now, sir! Or, or ma'am, as, as the case may be. We, we make no judgments here. Please stop casting chain lightning on my castle. Ah, oh, you disintegrated my castle. You bastard! Do you know how expensive it is to move a new castle in here? Oh, you gotta get, like, two trucks. And look at those roads. We're gonna have to rebuild the infrastructure around here, too. Man. Well, I suppose on the upside government stimulus. Get us out of this uh, recession that we're in. Which is, of course, why the uh, king is walking through the forest. Um, um Graham, you're, you're, you're supposed to be smelling the, the roses along the way, not the daffodils. I, I, I don't think you uh, understand this concept here. Well, he definitely must be getting old if uh, that's how fast he's walking. The artwork in this game is a huge improvement over the previous ones, though. The uh, color depth and quality. Especially, I mean, just comparing this to, like, King's Quest 1 is pretty My amazing. Castle. What has happened? It, it's gone. It, it's kind of obvious, but it's it's gone. Yeah. That kind of thing happens. Ooh, I can tell you what happened. What? Why are you guys talking in the giant box? Why is it Graham not to stand underneath Ooh, the bird? I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. Okay, so you tell did. me. Well then, what happened? Just a big tease. Ooh, it was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Ooh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. He was Don't visiting the uh, Tootsie Go Pop on. Owl. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Ooh, it was something to see, all right. That's my castle that was uh, taken away. You could have a little bit more compassion. Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What, what did he have against me and my family? What have I ever done to evil that wizards in the know. past? Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. So you're not well, really much help at all. Perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard. Oh, another evil why wizard? I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak, though, my employer is a very good wizard. Oh, I don't know that I trust His you on this. His name is Crispin Arthur. But we all call him Crispin for short. The only problem is... He hates see. that! <laughs> I like how Graham didn't move his body a single millimeter, just his head. You're just here for the comic relief, aren't you, Owl? <clears throat> a 
Anyway, oh, where was I? Oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. So you want me to get help from a senile wizard? Sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Crispin is a very qualified wizard, one of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again. That's you mean all. senile? Now where is it? Ooh, I know I brought it with me. Aha! Here it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not have the uh, the drugs well, yet. All right. It is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordak. Ooh, excuse me for saying, Your Majesty, but you don't have a choice. You off with his head! Me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. Wait, wait, what are you, what are you doing? What what what's this? What are you doing? What what uh, what are you doing up there? Oh God, I'm allergic! Ah! <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Oh. What is that stuff? Uh, I'm going to get you back for this. Uh. Oh, God. It'll help you to fly. Oh, that's you cleared up. Good. You can follow me to the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. Oh, I think the fairy dust is still good. Y you think? Well, what if this wears off before we get there? Something tells me it's going to wear off before we get there, and I'm going to fall to Come my doom. On, up here. Well, hey, at least uh, Graham is already flying better than the uh, uh, Puma Man. Although he doesn't have a spiffy space alien Aztec belt. Or a spiffy big-jawed Aztec warrior helping him. So I guess on the uh, whole... Not as spiffy as the Puma Man. Tis a shame. So, uh, what happens if this uh, stuff... Ru really, seriously, what, what happens if this stuff runs out before we... Ah! What is this, the Here Wizard's Retirement Community of Serenia? Also, it's very echoey out here. How do I stop this thing? Oh, like that. Ooh, looks like the fairy dust just wore off. Get off my lawn! Where have you been? I've been calling for you. Well, well. What have we here? What are you doing in my pond, young whippersnapper? A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No hey. sense sitting around like a wet dog. Arf. It's all Cedric's fault, you know that, right? Also, Graham, I hope you brought a change of socks. Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Ooh, I like Crispin. Uh, if only these two were actually Erasmus and Fenris. Everything would be so much better. The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. That never seems to do any good, though. That doesn't Crispin, seem very effective. Why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. Ooh. I thought perhaps you could help His Majesty, Crispin. That's why I brought him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. But now I'm, I'm senile. a little rusty lately. <laughs> a little rusty? That's quite enough from you, Cedric. Before I turn you into oh, a newt. Yes, sir, Crispin. Sir. 
Yeah, I suppose you just don't get better. know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most I don't know. of my wisdom Potions? stuff is pretty old and worn out. Magic scrolls. But let's see what I can find. Rods, staves, wands, rings, miscellaneous magic items. Horn of blasting would always be handy. Decanter of endless water. Wand of wonder. Come on, you gotta have something like this. You're just gonna stare out the window like that, Crispin? I think he's just gonna stare out the window. Oh, oh, he, he spotted a, uh, a rare uh, um, Serenia Oriole. No, that won't do. This magic eight ball is broken. That's all used up. There's no more powders of itchiness in here. Might work. Here, eat this. Uh, what is this? What is that? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. Last Wait, year? You Don't worry, the diarrhea will pass in a few weeks. Animal world. You should find that quite helpful. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. I got a spiffy new uh, 2016 model out front. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. So don't use it to scratch my you back or pick my nose. My boy. Gotcha. No telling what that confounded Morak could be up to. You God go sarn it! Show him the way. Ooh. Yes, you don't be such a coward. No, really, really, I don't need the comic relief to come along. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. Whap! Oh, the door was closed, Cedric. He's really blind. Well, here we are. Um, what do we do now? Oh, I suggest we visit the town first. How about it, Your Majesty? No! Please I decide where we go your first. Your Majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Oh, I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway... No, 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 no. Graham, not Graham. Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south. Not too far. Supplies well, then, in town? Be on our way, Cedric. <laughs> yeah, right. Like we'd ever find supplies in a town. Nestled among the trees of the forest sits the wizard Crispin's worn but cozy cottage. Cozy, huh? Also, why is the uh, chimney right here in the middle when I didn't see a uh, fireplace right in the middle of his room? Nestled among the trees. Impatiently. Cedric waits for Graham. An unusual ornament decorates Crispin's front yard. Crispin, being a wizard, it must have some magical significance which Graham could never understand. Yes, Graham could never understand such high concepts as magic. King Graham, heavy of heart, searches far and wide for his beloved family. A little heavier around the waist, let me tell you. Evil wizard, Mordak. A small cellar door is located under the house. A small well is located near the cottage. We get this little X if we can't look at something. A tiny pond adds charm to Crispin's forested home. I don't know about charm. The cool pond water quenches Graham's thirst. Mmm, animal piss. So good. All right, let's uh, go ahead and up the detail. Let's go ahead and up the speed for now. Oh. Ooh, don't bother with the cellar door. There's nothing there. Besides, it's locked. I don't know that I trust you. I was actually trying to use that on myself. Do, 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 do. Hey, Crispin. Um, just wondering if there was anything else you might have for me. Don't be wasting your time coming in here. Young what? man, I've done all I can for you. <sighs> now it's up to you. Damn it. I expect well, more from you. Anyway, I'm not going to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. 
I wish you the best, King Graham. Surely an emergency in a neighboring land... I'll be on my way now. ...would cover what has happened to King Graham and Daventry. The door to Crispin's house is now locked. Damn it. Well, there's still an open window. Damn it. All right, well, we've got an inventory here. The old wand doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. Uh, so it needs a little blue pill. Uh, oh, I can't I can't even click on use it. Oh. That's what I need to do. Graham gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Ah, oh, we're going to have to bury it. Graham gives the wand. Graham gives the Graham gives all right, well, um, so, again, we've got uh, our icons, uh, walk, look, paw at, and talk. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Cedric. Cedric seems to be thinking big thoughts right now, perhaps planning their next move, and so is not in a talkative mood. Oh, I think I saw a vole back there. It makes me kind of hungry. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get started on our journey. Graham, watch out! A poisonous snake! Uh, a poisonous snake, you say? Um, are you sure it's not just a, a regular old poisonous snake? Well, really, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I thought I did this already. I guess it didn't save it. Uh, where did I put this? Uh, Sierra King's Quest 5. I did. I guess it just doesn't change the dir uh, save where the uh, director was located, which is rather annoying. Alright, well, uh, let's take a look. A large, venomous snake blocks Graham's passage to the east. Oh, come on. How do we know it's venomous? In silence. The large serpent eyes Graham menacingly. Look, why would the, the snake want to do anything to me? I'm much bigger than it. I'm sure it'll just let me pass. That oh, apparently not. wise, Graham. He who speaks with forked tongue should never be trusted. It's awfully racist against snakes, game. Alright, let's go ahead and restore this one. Um, well, let's look around a, a little bit. A worn dirt path wanders through a thick wood, alive with the sounds of many creatures. Between the trees, to the east, Graham can see the outline of a great mountain range. How does... These roads are definitely not made for bringing carts. A worn though. dirt path wa A worn... A worn... A worn... Is this really all that I can look at? A worn... Apparently so. See how the path goes to the east up into the mountain? Nope. That's the road to Mordak Castle. Right, so I need to get by the snake. Hey, uh, Cedric, uh, you're an owl. You eat things like snakes. Come on. Some owls eat snakes, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Talking to yourself again, yep. Graham? It's always a good plan. All right, well, I guess we'll just uh, head south. Now this was pretty nice. The first time I, I got to this screen, it's pretty amazing uh, uh, artwork uh, on a game of the era. The quaint little town of Serenia nestles at the base of a great snow-capped mountain range which rises sharply to the east. Apparently so does the town. That's a pretty steep uh, uh, incline looking at these buildings. The quaint little town the quaint little uh, secure within a small go. pen, a spotted cow quietly chews her cud. I always thought there was something you could do with that cow, but there really isn't. The quaint, a small tributary of the larger river, powers an old water wheel as it flows through the town. Old water wheel, you say? 
Cedric waits for Graham just outside the small town. King Graham. Alright, I don't think there's much else that we can look at <clears throat> out here, so let's go and let's head inside. Do, 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 do. If you're going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. You can fly. You can be up on the roof. The roofs. <sighs> Why is he along with us again? While blocking an alleyway, a frustrated man fixes a broken wheel on his wagon. So we've got a tailor shop there. We've got a toy shop there. And we've got a uh, shop shop. That, that's S-H-O-P, right? Yeah, shop shop. It's a shop that sells other shops. Uh, and oddly enough, it shares the exact same space as uh, the toy shop. The town is busy with people going about their daily chores. Quaint houses and little shops line the town's main cobblestone street. Quaint house. Oh, I want to look at the eggs. Good day. Good day. Top of the morning to you, sir. Top of the morning to you, sir. Nice day, isn't it? Hello. Amazing how you speak from all the way across the, uh... Out of my way, mister! Well, that's just... You, you rude little kid! Look out! Hi, mister! Look out! Hello! Nice day, isn't it? Nice day, isn't it? Not really. Graham notices an old wooden barrel on the street corner. Oh, sweet! A change of clothes! Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Sweet! Lucky day! Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes, phew, the smelly old fish. All right, I got a smelly old fish. Ah, oh, what could be better? Phew, the smelly old fish is disgusting. Ah, uh, the voice work in this game is horrible. <laughs> I love it. Oh, let's head in here. Whoa, 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 put some you, clothes sir? on. The busy tailor shop bustles with activity as Graham looks around with interest at all the tailor's wares. At the back of the shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a rude, finicky customer tries on many items of fine clothing. An employee of the tailor, a friendly, good-looking young man, caters hopelessly to a disagreeable customer in the one dressing room. I'll just kick him in the nuts. The tailor, an aristocratic looking man, attends solicitously to Graham as he looks at all the wares in the tailor shop. Not actually in the corner of the, the shop, wares. draped casually over a tailor's form, Graham sees a thick fur lined cloak. That looks like a awfully glittery cloak. At the back of the shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a rude, finicky customer tries on many the busy tailor shop bustles with that. Can I talk to you? I'm interested in buying something here. Not that I have ah, any money. Let me show you some things. You have puffy cheeks. A fine piece of cloth. With this material, I could make you beautiful shirts. Real. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever had. But it's burlap! Well... What do you think? Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Goddamn here. browser. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. Aww. The young man is too busy with another customer to be bothered by Graham. Excuse me, hey, hey, I want some service here. All right, well, surely the game will just let me take this. It's not nailed down, here, right? Here, let me help you with that. Sweet. Oh, that cloak fits you perfectly. It just looks wonderful on you. Oh, you're, Let me you're tell me. you, it will certainly keep you toasty warm during the coming winter. Let me know if you wish to buy it. Oh, I'd like to buy it. Y you'll you'll take a uh, you'll take a uh, smelly rotten fish, right? The tailor wouldn't find that suitable for his business. Damn it! You expect me to wear this? 
Yes! Can we kick you in the nuts? Alright, let's just go ahead and leave. What? Are you following me out? Oh, hey, that guy left. Uh, I did not get an opportunity to talk. You know what? Screw that. I'm gonna go, uh, go ahead and reload then. Uh, I want to talk to that guy. Well, I'll, uh, get back here. Um, it's actually running a little bit longer than I, uh, meant to, but, uh, we had a long introduction. So, uh, when we come back, I'll be here and we'll talk to that guy who was by the, uh, the cart. See you then, everyone.